it's been it's been different, you know, being in a different gym and trying new things and everything else, man. But you know, the mindset and everything else, man, has been you know pretty much the same, man. Getting better and evolving, you know, no matter what, man. The, the show must go on. So. Chris, last fight he fought at 123, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And now he's fighting at what? Uh, it, it's kind of up in the air right now. As in, you know, it's supposed to be held at 126, but you know, we had like a change of opponent. So, like I said, it might be held at maybe 129, 128. All right. You know, a little catch weight, you know. Now, is that has that been difficult or? Um, as in not difficult but you know it's been emotional you know right. having to do that i mean he's kind of glad he got to eat a little bit early you know we kind of find that out this morning but you know all right so what well, what do you think you're gonna see as far as the knocking the dust off so to speak tomorrow night uh man you can see uh ring generalship man placement man and uh poise man you know like i said we we, we, we coming to dominate, man. Up first, Christopher Glenn. If I pull up, then I'm gonna score. And out of the hate, but you get my way. We ops, we going to war. I got myself on the map. I put in work and that's facts. So give me the best you got. I'm ready for that, yeah. Bring it out, I wanna hold it back. I said it, I'm in it. They told me that they did 128.2. If you ain't gonna spoon me a simple ass. You think you gonna win, but this isn't that. And I got no interest in tip for tat. Cause I made the calls, I'm the quarterback. Oh. Oh, touchdown, there ain't no way to run now You talking all of that game, but One, you can't even 33.6 There ain't no forfeits allowed You took a swing and struck out When push come to shove, you end up on the ground Yo, I'm ready to earn me a bag to cover the digital dash uh, uh, I'm ready to swim with the sharks Yeah, I'm about to go make a splash uh, uh, To anyone thinking they bad Thinking they might want to clash uh, uh, Whatever you bring to the map Remember, I'm ready for that uh, I'm ready. So, you acquired Chris, I uh, guess was about a month, two two months ago or so. Yeah, about yeah, about two months ago. Yeah. Right, and then now he's having his first fight since been about a year off. So how has the transition been for not only yourself but you know for Chris and the team as well? Well, you know, number one for myself, I I, I basically used to this. I did this for my whole life. Um, again for Chris, he's it, it, with someone else now with me and um we just gotta adapt with each other and we've been doing that pretty good into the gyms and he listened pretty good and do the things he said do and want to even be better than the things then that you tell him to do he's, he's a guy that loves to work loves to stay in shape and work hard for everything, everything that he's doing all uh, right was there any challenges or anything that you had to face or getting used to work with him or no, because again, I, I've been in boxing a long time, my whole life really, and I know to adapt it to different, different style fighters, you know, so it wasn't that hard for me to adapt it to what he got and what I do with him when he's working and I'm telling him something, I don't want him to change it, that's what he's good at. I had on to it to make it better. And uh, so Chris is a little short. A lot of his opponents are taller than him. You know, what advice would you give to Chris? Or, you know, what do we talk to after seeing his opponent's size as far as? Well, you know, when guys are that tall, um, cause Chris could fight you or you box me, whether you're tall or short. Um, but when they're that tall, I told Chris, put the pressure on them. Stay off the jab, slip and slide and get up inside and bang them to the body and bring things back up the, up the stage to the head and stay that pressure on them sooner or later, something I have to give. Talk to me nice, ain't about winning, don't talk to me twice. I don't play dice. I'll make a move on the board, it's precise. What's good, what's good? We at the Slip and Connor podcast again. Got invited by my boy Jay and Junior. We here with the whole team, you know. We got uh, Roy right there. We got Bill, you know, we got Simon. You know, got the whole team here. So, you know, everybody get this interview on. Exactly. So, yeah, but um, 
you get better when. But yeah, I mean, it, it, running, running. It, it, I have my days. Okay. Yeah, yesterday I didn't mind running. Okay. It, it be all right, here's what it's time. It's like the end of the week sucks. Yeah. Because like your body's kind of like, yo, yeah. man, I just need a rest day real quick. Yeah. And, okay. But like that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's clear. Oh, cool. I'm good. Man. That, that. I'm good. To be honest, slept on, but not for long. He's coming. He's coming. Let's bring him in. Blueprint. Blueprint. What's up, boy? <laughs> My man. Good to see you, bro. My guy. Good to see you, too, man. Show, show, show. Man, I'm glad we got this guy back in, man. I'm glad we got this guy yeah, back in. Man, it's been overdue. Overdue. Welcome back to the studio, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for having me. Yeah, um, I'm training with uh, Simon Brown. Simon okay. Brown Boxing. Still in Hagerstown, but, but yeah, Simon Brown Boxing. Okay. Any noticeable differences already? Um, I mean, yeah, he, he was a world champion, so, mm. you know, he definitely knows, you know, what he's doing and everything like that. Um. It's definitely a little bit more structured, you know. He 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 knows like how can I put it? He knows when he wants me to, you know, do a little bit more. Man, it's an honor to have this guy come oh, to this man. table. Matakia, <laughs> Matakia, <laughs> Big Butter, <laughs> the great Simon Brown has come to the table. It's an honor, sir. Different code, you got to get adjusted to the timing and, uh, and movement, different things that they adjust. How's it been since the beginning of the swap and, you know, the relationship training together? Well, the relationship is great because I've known Chris for a couple of years, you know, and I always seen him training and, um, you know, watching him. He's been to a, two of his, his pro fights, you know, and so it wasn't that hard for me to get adapted to him because I know you know, by watching him, I know what I got to work with and see. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. next thing I was about to ask you. So, what is, so I know with so much experience and things that you've seen, you know, what's some of the things that I've watched him improve? You know, one of the things coming from your days, you want to see how much he's going to turn into a complete pro, fight after fight after fight. Well, he, some things you want to add to him. Well, he definitely, he's um, doing everything that really, that I know a fighter could do. When he let the shot go, let the shot go at the same time with his ass. All right? Big surprise to many. Big surprise to many. But my favorite verse, uh, you know, I went through a lot of stuff in college and it kind of stuck with me, John 13, 7. You may not know now, but later, later you'll understand. Hopefully people understand. It will feature four rounds of boxing in the junior lightweight division. Once again, introducing the man in charge of the action after the bell rings, your referee, David Breslo. All right, fight fans, introducing the principals. First, fighting out of the purple corner. This young man is attired in red trunks, trimmed in white. He weighed in at 133 pounds, making his professional debut. Coming to us from Rocky Mount, North Carolina, please welcome John Wes Jones. And the latest gentleman introducing his opponent in the corner, T. 
to my left. This young man is attired in black and green trunks. He weighed in at 126 pounds. He brings an undefeated professional record of three victories against no defeats coming to us tonight from Hagerstown, Maryland, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Christopher, the Blueprint Glenn. Referee Dave Braslow to give the instructions.